Can you guys believe I'm turning 41 on Monday? I cannot believe in myself. So today's, I usually assess my skin first and I'm dealing with hyperpigmentation. So no retinol during the day. Do not use retinol during the day, but we're gonna use these Sephora cotton pads and a brightening toner by Good Molecules. This is my favorite toner. So this is the niacinamide brightening toner. It has vitamin C in it. Um, it's really good for if you have large pores, close your pores up. I'm going with our skin suitables, vitamin C. Now you want to wear your sunscreen because if you do have hyperpigmentation and you don't wear sunscreen, you're just going to make the dark marks darker. So my skin has been a little dry, so I'm going to use the SkinCeuticals Emollients. It's a very rich moisturizer. I am wearing makeup today, so we're going to start with this, and then we're going to put on an oil to help with the dewy look that I just love. Ladies, please remember to hydrate your decollete and your neck. As I'm getting older, I do notice the skin changes such as this. When I smile, I have this. If I have a bump, I notice my skin is more like gooey because I'm losing collagen, so it's not as, um, I'm losing the elasticity of my skin. So microneedling helps with that. Chemical peels, microneedling, even with PRP, is great for that. Okay, now these are my go-to skin oils, Charlotte Tilbury or True Alchemy Glow Serum, but I want to try out the, the um, Charlotte Tilbury Super Infusion Facial Oil. I haven't used this yet. So let's try this out today. It feels like a primer. It feels like the YSL primer. It goes on like that. Um, so I'm just trying this out today. I just want to try it out and see how my makeup lays. And that is it. My daily skincare routine for wearing makeup. 